What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today I want to go into a bit of a discussion for what we could potentially see for both Global and JP actually, in terms of Christmas slash New Year's celebration stuff, and also what can relate to the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, because the uh, early premiere, it seems, is... Well, at the time of this recording, actually, like, three or four days from now. And, unfortunately, I cannot go because it's up in Tokyo and I, I've got work and everything. So, if it was next year because I'm going to be living near Tokyo next year, oh, I would have gone. I would have gone. But I still have my day one tickets for the 14th year in Japan uh, in December, of course. So, my friend was able to get us some early tickets, you know, buy us some tickets, like, right as they came on the sale. Even that little figure of Vegeta, so he's going to give it to me. I'm going to take pictures and everything. I'll send it to you guys on the day of the show. Obviously, I won't spoil anything. Um, when that all happens. So, definitely excited to see the movie. And, of course, everyone for, well, for quite a while now, we've been kind of speculating, talking about what are we going to see for the Dragon Ball Super Broly stuff when it comes to Doken. Because, as you know, we had the Extreme Z battle where we fought against that into Broly. We got a ton of orbs from him, which was really nice. Really loved that event. And, you know, originally we had all thought that maybe we're going to get a free play version of that card. And technically we still might. That actually could become in some kind of story mode that, you know, because they always bring some kind of story event that comes with these new big Doken events now and everything like that. Um, and maybe on the Doken Fest banner, whatever Broly does come in there, maybe in his SSR form, there's also going to be a, pretty, a free to play form that could also do that and everything. Um, but one thing I definitely, before I go into more speculations about what we could be getting though from this is, is exactly when we could potentially be getting it and is Global and, and JP going to have it at the same time? And there's about two or three things I want to look at when it comes to this. So first off, uh, one of the French data miners, the screenshot will be up on the screen right now. Uh, they were able to find a little, I guess, document, not a document, but basically a, a saying from Akatsuki slash Bandai talking about how during the 250 million download celebration where they have both the global and JP versions of the game, they saw record sales, they saw record revenue coming in and everything, which makes sense, right? You got both versions of the game working at the exact same time, and in that, you know, I think it was the quarter, again, I'm not sure, I'm not some huge analyst or anything like that. Um, bottom line, they made a ton of money, right? I mean, it was kind of expected, but probably having again JP and Global together was really nice to help them out right and you know a lot of people are going like well duh if they had been doing this from the beginning then they'd be making a lot more money but you know obviously you know the game came out six months here earlier and so for some reason they're going to continue to do that um I guess we technically do know the reason it's because they have not brand they have not they have not given the global version of the game to say someone in the U.S. or Bandai in uh, Europe or something like that. They have kept it here in Japan no matter what to, uh, to basically stop it from uh, going up because, you know, they're going to focus on the JP version first, then they're going to do global, then they're going to go back and forth and do all this stuff. So, you know, it's a lot as, as much as we would all love for it to finally catch up and finally be on par or, you know, only be maybe be a month or so. I know some global players do like the fact that, oh, okay, I see JP is getting this right now, so I'm actually just going to save my stones. I need to worry about this right now. And then Global just randomly throws a fastball and you get, you know, Android 17 like four or five months ahead of time, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, so anyway, so they saw some record, you know, revenue. We kind of figured that it was all that fun and good stuff. But one thing they mentioned at the very bottom of it, and again, this is just based off of the Twitter translate from Microsoft or whoever does it essentially. But they said that they are looking into the possibilities of doing more Global and JP combined events. And when I first looked at this, I was like, oh, okay, that's really cool. You know, we've had obviously the JP versus Global thing. We then had that very first raid, which honestly, uh, Akatsuki, guys, come on, pick it up. Where's the we need these things monthly in terms of just the raid things. The raid things don't have to be new Doken Fest events or anything like that. Just give us an event and be like, hey, Global, hey, JP, we're together. Beat this boss in a week or something like that. Like, just do it once a month. Other games do it. Why can't you? Come on, it can't be that hard. Uh, but anyway, so we had the raid and everything, which was really cool, really fun. A lot of people, it got a lot of positive feedback from it. And, you know, so I'm going to assume that this is probably going to be one of those things. Um... And a lot of people started thinking that, oh, does this mean we're going to get the Dragon Ball Super Broly stuff? And again, we'll get into the stuff here in a second. Um, are we going to get that in the, you know, the next, you know, together essentially? Because the movie, like it said, comes out in December here in Japan. Does this mean Global is going to get the Broly, you know, whether it's maybe the return of the EZA battle, uh, a new Doken Fest card, or maybe just a, a card that's going to be on any banner from then and here on out? Um, you know, special story events, all that stuff. Is Global going to get that a month ahead so that it's at the same time as JP? Because again, 
just going off a little Google Translate thing from the Twitter thing is, you know, it's it's very open to debate, right? When they simply say, we are interested in doing more events together. When I personally looked at it, I thought, okay, maybe what they're going to do is they're going to bring, they're going to maybe update that uh, easy battle or easy A battle essentially for the interpolar that we had because maybe they'll do that at the exact same time there. And then maybe they're going to, you know, bring some kind of story event in. But at the same time, I don't think they're going to, I don't think, and this is again, my personal opinion, or my personal thoughts. Uh, I, I got no proof to back this, this particular part up right here. I still don't think they're going to do the, you know, the banner cards and whatever little story event comes with it at the exact same time. Unless they really don't care about spoilers, because again, the movie around certain parts of the world that are not Asia, essentially, the movie's not coming out until the 16th or so for you guys uh, in the US, and then I think Europe's the 15th or maybe the 17th or something like that. Again, just a couple days uh, difference there. Um, but Japan, it comes out on the 14th, which is a Friday, and then they only have one more week until winter vacation basically starts for all schools and kids and adults, and oh, some adults at least. Um, and I, I've also I've seen some people also think that oh are they gonna they gonna hold off on whatever banner or story events will happen with JP until maybe it gets around New Year's time and then after like after Christmas they'll have this New Year celebration where it's gonna be both JP and Global at the same time and when I looked at that I thought for a second okay maybe that could potentially happen but are you really telling me that Akatsuki is gonna let this premiere movie banner or whatever they want to do with this again? I'm just gonna I'm, gonna I'm gonna assume we're gonna get some banner, maybe a free to play card and a story event or something like that. Do you really think on JP at least they are going to wait and let all that hype die down and then bring it back? Hell no! They are gonna bring that out on the 14th probably, right then and there for JP. So then the big question is okay. So then, what about global? If they are truly look, if we are to take this again, this little you know statement here about their finances and that they're looking forward to doing more global and JP stuff together, are they really gonna bring this to? Are they really gonna bring it to global at the exact same time in mid December and potentially spoil a lot of it? You know, because I'm sure the story event will probably have some not a ton of spoilers, but it's gonna have some stuff in there that could, could potentially spoil the movie for global. And still just bring it out early and it's just like, oh, by the way, the movie already came out, but we've already been doing your celebration for a month now. So I don't know what's really going to happen. And I really want to ask you guys as well, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think when they simply say we want to do more events together, maybe they'll again do another raid or something like that around the Christmas holiday times. Do you think that the Broly stuff will be delayed in JP to then do a more uh, New Year's celebration stuff with both Global and JP? Or do you think that they'll just release it a month ahead of schedule on G on Global at the same time that JP gets it in mid-December? I I don't know what they can do. I can I definitely cannot see them delaying it on uh, JP to wait until New Year's. New Year's will have its own thing probably, right? The same thing happened last year. We got Tapion around the beginning of December, mid-December time, and at the end of December we got the LR Go or the uh, not the LR. We got the Tech Vegeta Blue and the STR Rosé. So I personally don't think they're going to wait that long to then bring out Dragon Ball Super Broly, which has been garnering a lot of hype. It's going to be making a lot of money, probably. It's going to be doing well. So they are not going to wait to be like, oh, should we wait on this hype? No, 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 no. Release now. Release now. Go, 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 go. Give us your money, essentially. Right? They're a business in the end. They're going to do that. So I don't know exactly what's, what to really make of this, but I definitely think if I had, if I had to put my money down right now, I would say... JP will still get it around the 14th, 15th time in terms of a banner, a potential story event, and whatever little celebration mission things is going to happen. And then I'm going to assume that maybe around New Year's time, they'll announce it for Global, and Global will get it around New Year's time, and then JP will get whatever they're getting as well. And at that time, we'll then get some kind of raid together or maybe a JP versus Global competition or whatever happens to go, you know, coincide there. That's what I personally think is going to happen. So I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think is going to happen? And tell me why you think it's going to happen, okay? Don't just say if this is going to happen. Tell me why you think it's going to happen, okay? So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Are you going to be going to see the Broly movie? Aside from the obvious question I just asked you right beforehand. Uh, do you have your tickets already? Are you going to wait for it to come to DVD? You find I know some people were flying to Japan to see it first day. So I'm like, hey, hey guys, how's it going? So uh, anyway, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you have to be new. And until next time, everyone, I will see you all in the next one.